Hey there, DeFi adventurers. Phil, your head of research at Morales here, and we're back with another Morales Masterclass Series video. This time, we're checking out Chili's Chain, the newly launched EVM-compatible DeFi-capable chain that's just getting started. So I bet you're wondering, how do we get started with this chain today before it starts to catch traction in the next bull run, which is just around the corner? Well, let's take a look together and find out as we explore staking and governance over on Chili's chain. Let's go. With our address now funded with CHZ assets over on Ethereum, we're ready to use the Chili's chain bridge. Okay, did you see that? If you felt like we just threw you into the deep end there, that's probably because you haven't really learned much about setting up your own Ethereum wallet yet or funding it with gas. Basic steps like that are available to users of our Morales Money Pro plan. Click the link below if you're looking for that type of preliminary course material. That said, once we have assets on Ethereum, it's possible to bridge them to a myriad of different chains, including the Chili's chain that we're going to be looking at today. Chili's chain is an EVM compatible chain. That means that it accepts contracts from the Ethereum mainnet but not a lot of contracts have been deployed there yet. So what we're doing today will be preliminary in order to get us ready for future utility on chain at a later date. The staking steps we show will help us to earn additional coins while we wait. So let's take a look at that first. Before we can stake, we need to bridge. Let's move those assets from Ethereum to Chili's chain and get going. In order to move our CHZ assets over to Chili's chain, we need to use the Chili's Bridge, found over at bridge.chilis.com slash transfer. Here we can initiate a transfer from the Ethereum mainnet over to the Chili's Chain mainnet. We'll specify the max amount for transfer, selecting Start Transfer to initiate the process. Next, we need to accept the gas estimate, about $24 at today's rate, and select Confirm. Once complete, we receive confirmation within the web interface. Currently, our deposit is in transit and may take an additional 30 minutes to arrive at the destination. This is due to the block confirmation threshold on the Ethereum mainnet. It's necessary to reach a certain number of confirmations before Chili's chain will release the assets that have been bridged. After a few minutes, confirmation of the transfer begins to populate. A few seconds later, the transfer completes successfully, much sooner than the estimated 30 minutes. Selecting View Transaction allows us to view the Chili's Block Explorer. Here we can see that the funds have arrived successfully. By copying our wallet address and pasting it into the Block Explorer, we can also see the balance now available on Chili's chain. All right, so that completes our bridge procedure, effectively moving our assets from the Ethereum mainnet over to Chili's chain. You might be able to skip that step if you're working with a central exchange that you're securing your CHZ assets on and then moving those directly via the central exchange to Chili's Chain. In order for this to work, the exchange needs to support Chili's Chain directly. Binance is said to do this. Our chosen exchange, while said to support it, only supported the Ethereum mainnet, hence the necessity of the bridge step. Bypassing that step can save quite a bit, since anytime we're interacting on the Ethereum mainnet, we need to pay gas in the form of Ethereum. In our case, this cost about $25 to bridge our funds. Regardless of whether you chose to use the bridge or transfer directly to Chili's chain via a central exchange, now we have our assets on Chili's chain and we're ready to check out staking. Let's take a look. Referring to the official Chili's documentation found at docs.chilis.com slash chilis chain ecosystem, we have two relevant links for us for participating in Chili's DeFi as it exists today. The first is the bridge that we already took part in. The second is governance and staking. Let's take a look at this next. Heading over to the staking portal found at governance.chilis.com slash staking will connect our wallet, selecting MetaMask, and then next, and then connect, approving the new chain for use by our MetaMask wallet. Selecting approve adds the network to our wallet for now and future use. 
Here we'll also switch to that newly added network, Chili's Chain. Here we're met with a list of validators. We can contribute our assets to one of these validators in order to stake within the platform. This will use our assets to increase the security of the chain by delegating them to a validation node. The choices are listed with the top choice already owning the largest voting power. For that reason, it might make sense for us to contribute to a lower node so long as we don't go up in commission cost. In this case, we'll take the final option and delegate our stake there. Now we could select the max amount, but that's not gonna leave very much in our wallet for gas. In fact, we don't even have enough gas to process the transaction if we deposit all of it. For that reason, we'll go with a nice round number of 600, leaving the remaining 30 or so CHZ in our wallet for gas, selecting Submit. This requires signing again with our wallet. Here we select Confirm. Once deposited, we can see within the dashboard our current staked amount, any pending rewards, and any claimable rewards. These will begin to accumulate as time goes on. Next, taking a look at the Governance tab, we're able to see the past proposals and which ones have been executed as opposed to which ones were voted down. Now that we have assets within the platform, we can participate in governance as new proposals come through. There aren't any active proposals right now from what we can tell, so we'll have to wait to participate later on. And that completes our look into Chili's chain for today. The steps for DeFi users were a bit limited, but I'm here to tell you there's a lot going on behind the scenes at Chili's. With Morales support for Chili's now in full swing, sky's the limit on what this ecosystem might produce next. Features like the NFT API, Token API, Blockchain API, and Streams API are all integrated with Chili's, providing full Morales functionality to developers. So whether you're a DeFi user just looking to get into the ecosystem early, or a developer looking to build with the best tools in the industry, Chili's is a formidable choice to consider. See everybody in the next video.